Hello everyone, welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. So we're back with another pick a card reading. It's timeless, it is love based. We're gonna roll with our cookie. Ooh, not cookie, maybe my next reading will be cookie. That might be something some of you are hoping to see soon. I am working on a thumbnail, but we're gonna look at these cupcakes so we can see what your crush is telling their friends about you. Um, I'll sprinkle of what people say just to be, I guess, nosy um, and see what else comes through. But obviously we're leading with that crush and any conversations there. So I'm not gonna drag. I'm feeling the need to say the intro that I say before the each pile so that some of you, I guess, can use your discernment to see if I'm your reader or not. But for those of you that are new, I read past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do channel a light and a shadow. You just have to find yourself in a lesson in the journey, okay? We obviously prefer the lighter side, but we do have shadows. So for those of you that are like, oh no, that's not me. I can't handle it. I don't want it. We're, that's okay. I promise it's going to be fine. doesn't have to be something that offends anyone. I don't have to be your reader, okay? So those of you that are visually impaired, or if you like to choose based on the verbal descriptions, let's do it now. Pile number one is the blue cupcake with the white flower. Pile number two is the purple cupcake. It has sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles and a pink flower. Pile number three is the red cupcake with the white flower. And then pile number four is another blue cupcake with a little bit of sprinkles and a pink flower. I will give you a moment to make your selection. And if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. All right, pile number one. Let's see what your crush is telling their friends about you and potentially what people say where that is relevant, okay? So for those of you that are new here, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the journey. Yes, you can have multiple files. Yes, you can have multiple crushes, live your life, okay? Um, do whatever you want. So I don't know who needed to know that, but good for you. So let me just get into the reading. What's my pile number one's crush telling friends about them? It's too many. It's a lot. There's a lot that they're describing. I heard that you, there's a lot of ways they're describing you. So it's not necessarily just conversational or situational. It's like they're describing you. So some of you, they're describing how they how you look to the friends. They're describing, like they may be showing pictures or like they're just describing your energy versus like situations and experiences. So this might be my pile that's like true crush, right? We have peace and we have olive, which is... um the southern comma so any of these themes could be relevant in any way i actually heard someone has an olive complexion for sure um but something about you is very peaceful that could be your demeanor that could just be the energy between you and the crush or it could be the opposite and the crush is trying to figure out ways to make it peace right like if there's a weird energy or like there's a weird impression i do have a first impression reading up for those of you that missed it um or if you're asking about someone with ties, connection, history with something regarding peace as a topic, okay? So let me see what's at the bottom. I have so much light coming in, y'all. I'm sorry. You're going to have to just deal with it because I like the natural light. And something about the time of day, it just, I overestimate the type of light. Yeah, um, you know what? I you, Like, if the friend, like if the crush is describing you to the friends, you're probably the pile that won't care. I love it because we got peaceful energy, we got serenity with that lavender, which people kind of like like use lavender fragrances for relaxation and everything. So you may be being described as like very zen, very like easy going. Um, there's that golden like copper orange color that could be relevant. Okay, 
but yeah i don't know they're just saying something about like easy going or like it could be as simple as them just saying that things are going really well with you um yeah i don't know we're gonna just keep playing cards and see there's not much to say it's like yep things are good some of you that's literally it the end like the friends ask like how are things with pile one or what's going on with pile one like have you talked to pile one and they're like yep everything's good okay so tell me there we go we got two so there's two things going on yeah things are stable we're doing really well okay like where you're attached or where this person's like um initiating contact with like i don't know what stages you all are at right um so if this is a pure crush they're like yep i talked to pal one or i'm talking to pal one getting to know them it feels practical like pal one's really practical i could see us really like matching well that's the kind of thing like it's peace like something about peace serenity this is the most stable energy okay in the shadow i heard someone's referencing being stingy okay okay so i get it that's the shadow like i don't want to drag and make it a heavy theme but the shadow is um someone talking about a connection possibly being boring stale right possibly looking for something more exciting so you know what you're asking about and who you're asking about right but for the most part this is someone that's like yeah power one's great things are great um we're planning right we're making moves we're thinking about moving in together um we're thinking about buying a house or we're planning our next date where we're gonna go right we're trying to get our schedules in sync so we can do that that's the type of conversations this person's having um when where this person is a pure crush that has not engaged you they're either really easy going and planning like to the t how they want to engage you or they're really nervous and overreacting and in, 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 in detailing the way that they want to engage you there is no in between right um for this group i'll take this in the bottom seven of wands talks about pursuit um so it feels like a person that's describing you as um having a lot of suitors okay um or describing you as combative you're gonna have to find yourself in a story and you can be both because seven of wands is like fighting so it kind of feels like someone that's like i just want to make sure that i get pile one to let their guard down so they're not really combative when i go in and try to like get their number or ask them on a date depending on who you're asking about depending on your energy towards this person right like you know how you are okay um uh, where you don't have this energy because again there's a polarity there's a really easy going side there's a really like active possibly aggressive side um this person's think talking about how like what they're gonna have to do to get your attention out of all of the other people that are interested in you or other person whatever the situation is it just feels like this person is trying to figure out how to prove that like where you have options they're the right option okay i'm getting that green is a thing olive tones is a thing okay i don't know where but it's going to be different for all of you but it's definitely a thing okay and that seven of wands makes me feel like this is a person that's like talking to the friends like yep i'm gonna go for it i just need to know exactly what i'm gonna do first when i know what i'm gonna do right when i'm stable in what i'm gonna do or how i'm gonna say it that's what we're gonna do okay and i'm gonna be very like certain in my pursuit i guess the word is i guess the word is pursuit okay so let me see the devil okay very stable we got a lot of earth here so this is capricorn based energy so capricorn rules um lessons right it rules um like we talk about karmic lessons so where we have that heavy shadow that could be the combative energy or the dragging or the sale um but it does talk about like lessons it talks about um kind of working hard right um when we talk about finances this is kind of like that laborious energy like it feels like kind of like hard work right like it feels very blue collar so this is a question that may be talking about that whether that's what th them or you and where that either makes sense or doesn't like i get a vibe on the shadow of like would that be enough on one end right like that being a conversation uh, because like the four of 
Pentacles is penny pinching a little bit. So like it feels like someone that may feel a little bit lacking in some sense. Okay, that would have to feel like they would have to work really hard to like maintain some type of attention or whatever it is. Okay, um, like would you be peaceful? Would you be happy? And not saying that it's you, it could be them questioning if that's something they can do. Um, the devil talks about control, so this could be the friend, this person telling the friends um, they have it under control or they're trying to regain control of the situation, whatever is going on. I don't want to dig into your business, but. You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm just telling you what they're saying. You you do the you do the rest. Um, but the Capricorn placement here, along with Saturn, rules the tenth house. So career, right? We talked about like potential. Um, I heard setbacks, roadblocks, or limitations, liabilities. That could be a situation with that. But we're also talking about um, reputation being a theme, right? And just how people see you overall could be a thing, okay? Now, I'm going to pull more cards and, and see what I can really get, like from a astrology-based perspective, a love-based perspective. But there seem to be conversations prominently about plans, about reputation, about career, um, right? About activity, building, working, especially when we talk about going against the grain and fighting something that like like a harsh battle a little bit because seven of, of wands is a harsh battle um coming out on top but it was very difficult it was very hard right like you didn't it didn't come easy right and nothing associated with that devil card and capricorn energy comes easy so we talk about duration right now in the lighter sense that also talks about longevity you're right a la peace right peace and serenity which tends to factor into long-term commitments, right? Like people that are more peaceful and, and serene together tend to last longer in a connection, right? So let me see what's going on here. Okay, money is a thing. Penny pinching, whether, I don't know what the theme is, money is a thing, okay? You've got both Taurus placements. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. Um, was in fact the bottom. I split, you got prosperity lies ahead. So this person could be talking about something you're working on um, and how prosperous you're gonna be. They could be talking about something they're working on and how prosperous it's gonna be. Regardless, it's how they're talking about how it's gonna impact the, con the connection for the better, right? It's gonna ground you and stabilize you, okay? We're on the lighter side, right? The shadow side is money is a theme, right? Second house of assets, of money, of self-worth, right? Because peace and serenity in the shadow sense could be settling, right? Where we're comfortable. So, like I said, just find yourself. That's way too many. Um, I'll let you see what it is, though. Um, don't let your past hold you back. Look, it's on your side. Um, this is a topic, right? When we talk about the, like... Honestly, the shadow of this person could be like, don't let your past hold you back. Like, you might get lucky, blah, blah, blah. Um, some of you, um, when we talk about connections that may have a history, like a negative history, the friends are telling this person like to go for it, right? So let me see. A time to give rather than take. Um, some of you, the friends are telling this person to stop being so stingy or that you need to stop being so stingy. I don't know what's going on, but there is a lot of green, okay? You got the new moon in Virgo. Um, and when I say stingy, I don't mean just in terms of finances. That's a thing for those of you that are attachments. Um, I, I get a withholding possibly of attention. So when we talk pure crush, right? Because I don't want you to get lost here. This feels like someone that's kind of not moving, not budging, just fixed in their, in their placement, right? Like not pursuing. So it's like, go for it right and then virgo talks about like your attention to detail and overthinking right um it is an earth sign it rules your day-to-day -day, your routine your health and wellness it does also so you've got both signs that rule work okay you've actually had all three earth signs touch my table okay very grounded very stable serene energy okay you and your loved ones are safe. So when we talk about security and stability, those are topics of conversations for sure. I referenced home. This is the second sign that rules homes, like houses and things like that. Um, some of you, this this is a group of friends that's saying this person, um, this crush, um, 
should take care of you or you should take care of them. Whether or not that's been happening, I don't know. Because it's going to be different for all of you. Okay? Um, some of you, this person and the friends are talking about like how peaceful a home environment would be. Right? Between the two of you. Whether they don't think that's the case or whether they're certain that it would be. Okay? Talking about like having children. Right? The relationship with children. Those are topics. All right, let me get this. Whatever decision that needs to be made for better, for worse, the friends are saying do what's right. Like whatever is right in the situation, the friends are like you should do what really is right because like, you know, regardless of like, because like regardless of like your personal feelings like you have to like do whatever's right i don't know what that is so we're talking about attachments here um when we talk about pure crushes they're like stop being stop being scary stop dragging your feet whatever the thing is all right let me get one more from here and we'll start pulling from the love deck so we can just see what's really going on that Security is a thing, okay? So we've got Jupiter, which is that same, uh, the planet that rules Sagittarius. When we start talking about love, and we talk about growing and expanding. So really good things are being said to the friends and the friends are reciprocating the energy where there is growth, where there is expansion on your end, on the partner's end, where you're supporting one another, in a way that your relationship is working. Where there's conflict, where there's instability, where there's stagnation, right? Where there's financial issues on either end, the friends like, mm, maybe it's time to expand your horizons or um, encouraging this person to like expand their perspective so that they could be better right because if they're the i don't want to say the one that's lacking like because because some of you you're both struggling in a sense others of you one of you is struggling so if the friend it's like so if this person is like having some type of hardships or it's just not working or they're feeling like this competitive energy with you the friends are kind of telling them to step their game up like if you don't feel good enough or if you're genuinely lacking in other areas of life then pick up on yourself a little bit like so that pile one like so that you can, Pile One can be proud of you so that you can be with Pile One in a healthy way, right? Where you're the liability, the friends are talking about that in a sense of trying to encourage you to improve or just moving on. Like that's the topic. Okay, we've got House Two, right? So it says financial security, possessions, material values, and self-worth, right? Because it seems to be a question of what brings value, who brings value, right? in the best way as well as the worst ways right like so when i talk about the shadow obviously you see but the best ways could be like man look at pile one they're doing really well they're like on the up and up or they're really successful like that's a good match you're gonna be at peace you're not gonna like you're gonna be stable you're not gonna like struggle everything's gonna be safe stable and taken care of you'll be able to give without being concerned about being taken advantage of right like you have someone that'll give to you because virgo is acts of service cancer is nurturing energy right like that's the topics so let me pull these love decks yeah i got a new chapter in safe place was the split right there's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love so where somewhere okay so the conversation is good where everyone's feeling safe feeling valued feeling nurtured feeling supported um any situations where people are feeling lack use still stuck that's the shadow got it all right we've got two energies okay so we've got ready for love and self-love now we talked about that shadow right the shadow is conversations are i'm ready for real love but let's start with self-love right so we talk about someone having a conversation about self-preservation um or questioning if you're ready for love and thinking you need to focus on self-love. And it could be both, right, when we talk about the shadow. The lighter side is feeling very, very secure in yourself, 
and being prepared for love as a result, right? Being stable, being secure, being inspired, being happy, being peaceful and serene in a connection, but there's also passion and expansion and growth between the two of you, right? And seeing the potential for that where you're not there, right? So like when we talk about pure crush, this is a person that sees potential with you, right? They admire how you carry yourself, how you look, how you value yourself and ready for love is like that's what's been, like i'm ready for love with that power one okay that's what we've got suits at the bottom law of attraction we attract what we are use the law of attraction to manifest your perfect match by being a perfect match to yourself first so my lightest sense of the pile this is a person that thinks you are like 100 percent their perfect match like you mirror them in all the best ways you compliment them in the best ways like that's what all that peace and serenity is all about is feeling like you like you could really get along really well you can match really well okay wanting to find out if their assumptions are true where we're talking pure crush right feeling like you're the type of person that they have to have self-love to even engage on a romantic level right like it feels like a conversation about like, no, power one wouldn't just date anybody. It has to be the right kind of somebody, right? And them saying the same about themselves. Like, okay, I don't go for anybody. I like, like I admire power one, how they look, how they move, how they value themselves, how, how they prioritize their growth and their expansion, right? Their routine, their health, their wellness, their comforts, right? That's the topics, okay? Um... But again, Shadow is, friends are like, do you love yourself? Does this person, power one, love themselves, right? Because you're mirroring possibly in the worst ways, right? And again, being ready for love means loving yourself first. Seems to be topics. All right. We've got new love and unrequited when we split. Yeah, um, even on the lighter side when we talk about this crush. So some of the conversations with the crush is really like I'm not sure if pile one would be into me because I'm not feeling like I'm enough for the pile one, right? We do have an energy of like trying to flirt to fill you out. Where that's happened, that's a conversation where they're going to attempt to. That's also a conversation worth waiting for is at the bottom. So like kind of waiting for their chance to do that where it's applicable with all of this well i'll take it um yeah we've got stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so basically the friends are telling the crush like hey you have to be optimistic you never know if you don't try you know what i mean like that's kind of the energy i don't mean to laugh but it's like someone that's really in their head about it right um we've got it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so they do talk about being really attracted to you okay we talk about being ready and safe for love right so that's a conversation right conversations of is it safe to pursue you is it safe to continue with you right or saying that they feel very safe with you they're very attracted to you they feel very comfortable opening up being vulnerable and the things like that so let me get this. I'll get you some advice regarding this crush. And we'll close it out. Tell me what's the crush telling the friends about my pile? Number one, please. And um, some of this, because it's so loud, could be things of like what the people are like people are saying, right? Um you got kisses, you've got yes. This is my confirmation that it is what people are saying in a sense. Like it might just be gossip as well. Um, but you've got twin flames and swept away. I mean, this person really feels like you're like you're the best version of what they want. Like they feel like something about you. The conversations are like, I need to make sure I maintain this connection or get this thing going because this is a person I could really like like, I feel like we have a, enough in common where it's going to, like, really work out, right? Like, some of you as persons, like, power one knocked me off my feet. Like, I am swept away, right? We talk about kisses. That could be reference to actual dates, um, actual intimacy. doesn't have to be completely sensual, but just 
references to intimacy or it could just be like lips right as well when we talk about features and again waiting for their time where they have not taken it or content making sure that the door stays open as they explore the connection with you so let me get your advice on what you need to do regarding this crush what is my power mom need to know shadow side is um obviously this person's like talking about possibly you sweet being swept away or them like moving on some of you when we talk about attachments it's someone trying to see if you would be open and i don't know if i said it but if you had a yes or no question in your mind when i was like when that came out that is your confirmation okay you got good fortune okay so what is my pile number one advice regarding their crush ground your energy stabilize i mean the two cards are ground so like when we talk about something that's healthy that feels good like or that feels like it could be good we talk about grounding your energy okay grounding in it being safe and secure um we talk about a rebirth right when we talk about rebirth it feels like um where self-love is a thing and we've seen improvements with people we are engaging or have engaged right when i when i do these readings for you guys like if you're dealing with attachments or historical attachments where we see re clear rebirth we see clear grounding that's a go that's a yes okay where we see stagnancy it's saying to rebirth as an individual and ground and look ahead right look ahead okay um now where we talk about the good things right we talk about the positive it's saying um to go ahead and be reborn in this connection ground your energy okay ground your energy and just allow yourself like stabilize with this person right that's the advice so that is all i have for you today my pile number one hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post here on this channel thank you for watching all right pile number two let's see what your crush tells their friends about you and we might get what people say where it's relevant to the question right so for those of you that are new here i read and channel past present as well as incoming energy i do read from a polarity which means there's a light as well as a shadow you just have to find yourself and the lesson and the journey you can have multiple piles and it can be however you want right you can choose for different people you can choose for different timelines however you like it your choice okay so let me start pulling cards i what is that um so every card, like every card associated with the sign of Virgo that was in any of these decks jumped out. So I don't know if that's Virgo season, right? I don't know if we're talking about the moon in Virgo where it happened Pisces season, okay? I don't know if we're talking about like just Virgo placements, but something about that energy came out prominently. I don't know what's going on here. We have wisdom, strength, and elegance. So this person's describing you as all of those things to their friends for sure. But I do only want one from this deck. So let's see what's going on here. So tell me what's my power number two's crush. Hey, look at you. Um, there's a card throwing itself out. They like you a lot. They think you're you're friendly. They think they think that they're telling the friends where we're talking about like a crush, like true crush or someone that you're dating that you haven't met the friends. They're like, nah, you're gonna love pow two. Pow two's great. I think you're, they'll fit right in with you, okay? Um, we have the Dahlia, right? Very vibrant, dignified energy. Um, feels like someone that they're going to be really proud to talk about with the friends. Some of you are talking about incoming. Some of you are unattached. Yeah, some of you are unattached. So, I mean, it, and that makes sense if you have a pure crush. Because even if you have a pure crush, you're unattached, right? Because it's like, oh, like you're going to love this person, blah, 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 blah. Or like they're going to tell the friend. I don't know. It was a weird energy that came through. We do have eucalyptus protection and monarch, like monarch and dignity feels like a really like 
I heard the words upstanding, but that's not that's not what I mean. Like there's a certain like regal vibe about you that this person is describing to the friends, okay? So let me like you know when people will be like, oh, it's classy. That's kind of how they describe you. Upstanding, right? I don't I don't know why I'm using random phrases like that, but that's kind of how you're being described, okay? So tell me more about the pile too. What's the crush telling the friends? Hey, like, hey, I really like this person. I'm really wanting to go deeper with this person. Hey, I'm falling in love with this person. That's the types of things this person is saying to their friends. It's a great thing. This combination feels like a person that's very protective over you. This is the type of person that's like, I want to do right by my pile too. I want um, to do things the right way, right? By pile two. So that's a sweet energy. Look at you. Tell me more. Oh, this person likes you. Like when we're talking about crush, like this is somebody that is like truly having a like a serious crush. We got the ace of cups and the lovers. Like they're like, ooh, how to? Like that's it. that's the way they're talking to the friends. Some of you, this person's really guarded with the friends and try to like, cause dignity is like when you like have your chin up and you're trying to act like all serious and like important. And like this person's like acting really guarded with the friends and the friends are like, nah, we see you all in love. That's funny. I got that. Like some of you, like the person's not like, they're just like, yeah, I really like Pow too. It's great. But this person gives you like hard eyes and the friends like think that's hilarious. Cause that's what I'm getting. Like this person's like trying to pretend that they're not all like in love in some instances. Others of you, the friends are really like intrigued and the three of cups is wanting to meet you because it's like, this person may be kind of like because some of you this is you right but it's always a polarity that that dignified protective energy could be the person you're asking about okay and the friends are really confused and baffled like you all like in love you because that's not their vibe okay so they're like no i need to see who this is that's got you like that that's cute that's a really cute pile look at you I like it. Yeah, we've got the death, which is an ending, uh, a change, a transformation, right? So it doesn't have to be a chain, a, an ending. It could be a change. It could be a, a, a transformation in this person they're seeing, okay? I'm not going to read the shadow because it is very clearly a shadow where... You're asking about somebody you shouldn't be. And I'm not even kidding. Because the, the vibe is basically um, a person talking about like how they're not engaging, how they're blocked, blah, 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 how they're blocked or how they've blocked you or something like that. And um, someone may be like in a new romantic connection. So I'm not really... Because we're cutting down on time. I have a challenge, y'all, where I'm like trying to like upload as much as I can consistently. I can't do that if I'm making these readings super long. And so the shadow is kind of a leave that person alone. Um, but we have the um, the magician, right? You've got both cards ruled by the sign of Gemini, which talks about communication. So there's a lot of talking. Even if your person's really guarded that you're asking about, the friends are talking. Like there's a lot of chatter, lots of conversation, right? Um, at least about you and this person. And that could also, now I'm realizing, that could be what people say. And I think it's funny because the other side of that is a person that won't shut up about you, right? Won't shut up. Um, but the mag magician talks about alchemy. It talks about change and transformation. So like some of you, this person's talking about how they, they've changed or how they're developing and growing because of you. Um, the friends actually see the change, the growth, the development in this person. They're like, you're totally different. Who is this person? Bring us the pile too so we can see what's going on with you. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Um, where we're talking about peer crush, where it's something that's developing, they're still saying that. And where obviously we're talking about attachments, right? Some of you may even be asking about your spouses. Everyone's like, that's so great how pile two is um, and how much better this person is, this cupcake is because of the pile two. I like it. So let me see what's at the bottom. Yeah, look at that. The sun, really vibrant energy. It's funny because I think when I was resetting that um, first deck, I got the sunflower. So sunflower is a thing. I have sunflower 
reading. It's chaotic. I don't remember what it talks about, but I know that it is chaotic. I actually, ooh, I'm remembering. And I, I, I'm channeling because I don't, I don't know how I'm, I forgot all about that reading. But I have another version of this. And I'm seeing that sunflower. So gold, that's your other cupcake. You have a cupcake. <laughs> um, I think I have a playlist. If I don't have a playlist, I'll try to make one for you. I'll try to make one for you. So if you want to sit tight and wait for the playlist, fine. If you're excited, go look for it. But there is a cupcake with a sunflower on it. I also have another um, secret admirer reading that I'm working on because we've been seeing the sunflower so much. I want to give it a, a chance to speak again. Okay. So when it comes out, that's you. Okay. But we've got the sun, solar energy. Okay. So something about summertime for sure, because I remember the beginning where I kept channeling, um, and channel all of the Virgo cards through themselves out. And that is, um, a mutable sign, which ends season. It ends summer. Yeah. But this person's describing you as vibrant, like the sun, or people can just really tell that this person sees you as vibrant, like the sun. So it depends on the character of the person, right? Like if they're really like guarded like really like dignified quote unquote in their energy then it's like oh no this person this pal too is really softening you up what is this like what is that where they're already expressive they're even more expressive and people think it's so sweet how the cupcake here um this purple one is like really excited about the pal too i like this energy good for you so um yeah look what's at the bottom i told you right that also um came out in the previous pile um let me see if you were called to a go if you were not leave it alone because I, I don't feel like the energies are the same in any way unless we're asking about multiple people okay um actually some of you um on the shadow side probably could be that pile now that i'm thinking about it, that's probably why it's like that got it <sighs> all right here we go. I'll take it. At the bottom, I've got have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Yeah, the friends are like, um, really, it feels like pressure. It feels like really like apply, like because protection feels like leave me alone. <laughs> so like the friends may be like really applying pressure when it comes to like wanting to know what's going on and being nosy because the waxing crescent is like early stages. It's like fresh build up to the full moon, right? Um, but we have to have faith in your dreams. So this person's like, um, they're either describing you as very inspiring to them or people can see the inspiration and change in this person, right? Um, I got that shoulder. Hey, I, I read the comment. I didn't get to respond to it yet because like I'm, I'm, I'm on a go right now. Whoever that was that said, like maybe it represents chip on the shoulder. I can see that. Look at you. Congratulations. I, like I'm saying that like that person may pick this pile uh, you will you will look at you because you you're the shoulder and you don't have the shoulder issue you said so yeah whoever that is i didn't look yet i just saw it in passing um it could very well be a chip on your shoulder which is an energetic thing so clear that energy because why do you you don't want to you don't want to chip on your shoulder that's going to affect you romantically and in other areas so some of you this person is talking about um Something you don't see or something they don't see. And it doesn't have to be bad or like sneaky, but it's like you have the one card, but there's one hidden under it. If you keep picking the piles where that's happened historically, then we'll see. So what's this? Um, a person, she reaches resolution. So um, they're talking about some type of personal issue that they're having faith regarding. Um, conclusions are within reach. So some of you, um, the, the friends and this person are talking about a conclusion that maybe they don't realize is near or you don't realize it's near. But like there is a conclusion near, within reach, right? Um, that could be shadow, I'm realizing. Like that could be shadow, like something, you know, that shadow that I didn't really read, like it's over and you don't realize yet. Ooh, yeah. Um, but the lighter side is something kind of like some type of issue being over um, or nearing the end and, and being very faithful in that um, and knowing that. OK. That's what we've got. That's what we see. OK, well. Tell me more about. What that purple cupcake is talking about um they're making okay so message i'm channeling i didn't say it because i don't know sometimes i ignore the messages to shorten them i know that's bad but 
we do what we have to do here um i'm calling out the full moon eclipse so real time or incoming these are timeless messages i don't know why i'm doing that um full moon eclipse could be a relevant time frame okay time period okay because we got um the moon here so tell me more what's going on what's the crush okay we'll take it we got house six establishing a foundation health daily life practical details yeah i'm telling you people can see a change in this person so either they're really allowed about the changes they're making because of you or they're just active you know what i mean sorry i thought i was gonna sneeze someone may have allergies okay but yeah, I feel like this person's really growing and evolving, okay? And it could be mutual, but like it just seems to be themes around like, oh, this person, okay? Because the friends are like super excited. They're like, oh my gosh, hey, you can't make it up. I told you. So house six is the house that rules the sign of Virgo. So I told you, the sign kept throwing itself out. So we could be referencing a moon in Virgo, okay? We could be. We could be referencing um, sun in Virgo. We got sun on there. Like, I'm just something about the season, something about placements. Um, but it does say integrity, reverence, and service. And you know what? Because we have those words, we do have, like, it feels like a very dignified, protected energy, right? Like, like they may have a, be having conversations with the friends where it's like, man, um, that purple cupcake is usually really guarded, right? That's crazy how they're opening up right that's the thing okay like look how they're getting it together they seem to be getting their, like doing making changes healthy changes the types of changes you make when you're in a long-term connection good for them right um we've got the sextile a combination of tension and flow potential and a rewarding situation it feels like um i heard the words um they're challenging themselves to be better right like that's kind of what the friends are talking about with them like they're saying it to the friends or that's a conversation or they're actively doing it and that's what the friends are talking about amongst themselves this is one of those rare instances that i don't know that i've gotten yet where some of you the friends are talking amongst themselves as you're the person you're asking about is kind of like off to themselves like because this is all of that virgo energy that came out is like hermit energy right and cancer placements are kind of known for um like hermit energy from like for like liking to be more inside right with that protection i got that i got a wave of that so let me i mean yeah like like saying like oh that that cupcake is a lot more um health conscious now they're like prioritizing their health their wellness they're more like organized like that's the kind of things that like that are being talked about so let me see tell me more yeah okay so you've got um look i'm struggling to grab it um love at first sight so where this person is like talking to the friends they're saying like it was love at first sight right talk about a gravitational pull they were drawn to you because the card says the instant gravitational pull you two felt when first meeting lets you know this is a soul connection something about um that pull that initial contact and then um, where this person is not like that, um, it just, I don't know, someone somewhere saying like, it was love at first sight with this person, right? The purple cupcake is like, yep, love at first sight uh, because we do have falling in love, right? The feeling of falling in love is one of a kind. Know that it is safe for you to be in love. Look at you. So, I'm going to, yeah, I, I even have something about making space, looking to make sure space. Cause I was like, oh, I got, I could probably fit another deck there. So, and I heard the words perfect fit because I'm thinking this little deck, it will likely fit perfectly there and still be in frame. We'll try it out and see if not, then we'll scooch slightly over. But something about a perfect fit, like made like just for a certain situation, a certain setting, a certain person. That's how this person's describing you, okay? Where they're describing or the conversations that are being talked about. So tell me more. What are, what's the crush telling their friends about my pile number two? Look at you. That's a maturing energy. We've got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So they're talking about making the effort. They're talking about going for it where this person hasn't. Um, they're talking about this person being very attentive 
right? And making the effort where that's not their nature, right? Where we're talking about someone that's possibly guarded and not typically engaged. Like I, I get a vibe of someone that's not really engaged romantically or does the bare minimum. Like I don't like to say it like that, but it's the truth. We, we see making the effort here. And also making the effort talks about like getting yourself together, right? Cause it's not all about making your effort towards someone. I get a vibe of like the friends talking about how this person's like making the effort just to improve and just be better at life and all of that. And like, it's being attributed to you being like a soulmate with that maturing energy. Like, yes, this is your soulmate by being in a maturing sense. It's like not even a question. This is the truth. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's the energy coming through. Okay. So let me pull from this when flame soulmate that yeah it's like even to make the efforts children it's like oh look it's puppy love it's like um how to like no not how to it's some of you that may be what they're saying about you like it's like a child um but it's really this person they're like oh it's like a childhood crush that's so sweet like the heart is captured um it's on like this person this person's kind of acting like a child not in a um negative sense but in a very youthful crush like sense i did see separate i did see um lost love i did see deceptive okay so where that shadow is trying to come through or where that shadow is one of your past because it could be right that could be why we have all of this excitement on the table like oh my gosh look what's going on with that cupcake and pal too because you know, this is what we want. This is what we've been waiting for. We've been hoping, right? I, I saw many loves and let go. Like, we're so glad that that cupcake was able to let go and move on. Thank goodness, right? Like, that's what I'm getting from. Um, it feels like an energy of the friends being really excited about somebody they approve of, if that makes sense. I'll take it. Um, we do have let go again. We do have let go again. So, love grows. And that could be like a symbol for love growing and evolving this person. And we've got in love. Um, so there's a conversation about letting go of something or someone. Again, it could be the shadow stepping in. But it just feels like letting go and like being free and like being open to growing and evolving. And I'll just, it feels like, it feels like a pile of people very surprised that someone let go enough to fall in love, Right? Like, it feels like, oh, this person actually allowing themselves to fall in love. Like, that's kind of what I'm seeing on the table, okay? So let me get your advice regarding your person, because this is an interesting person. Look at you at the bottom. It says union. So, I mean, hey, look at you. It's, it's a positive energy. So far, you're getting a go for it vibe where we're talking about, like, questioning what, what to do or, like, if... You know, this is someone you should keep engaging or if you should engage at all, right? Um, we have union and we have confidence with that bumblebee and the crown. So, let me get your... Okay, well, because this is like screaming at me and I didn't get it. Like some of you, it's like, no, that's that's the advice, <laughs> okay? Because when I, I did the shuffle just now, you still have confidence at the bottom. So, be very confident, right? Be sweet like honey because we do have a honeybee with a crown. You ha even have the monarch. So something about like a very regal, very like royal energy, okay? We do have purple, which symbolizes that a little bit. It does. Um, but we have knowledge. So I don't know. Some of you, it's almost as easy as use this knowledge to be confident, right? Use this knowledge to be confident. So I love that for you, my pile number two. I'm actually being told before I close it out to like kind of let you see this is the cover of the like this card is like the star of the show so we do have monarch we got crown like something about that is i don't know why it would be relevant but i was just told to show you that that is in fact the cover of the um book and box that it came through so that is all i have for you today pile number two hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post here on this channel Thank you for watching. All right, pile number three. Let's see what your crush tells their friends about you and what people say where it's applicable, right? So for those of you that are new here, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson and the journey. You can have multiple piles. They can be for different times, different people. 
whatever floats your boat okay whatever you choose so let me some of you that's relevant um to the topic that the, the crush is telling the friends okay um i did channel an energy of like being very sure very certain in something regarding you with this person okay um what else was i channeling i don't remember so we'll see we'll see tell me what this cupcake is telling the friends about my pile number three dreams royal fern large grass yellow well something about bright colors because yellow you chose the red cupcake it's a bright thing right but something about dreams some of these persons telling their friends they dream of you you're their dream person things like that i like i'm being called to the word grass that could be relevant in some way but um yeah it's like something about being like a dream like you're their dream person which would make sense when we're talking about being sure being certain um but there could be like a person saying like oh they're dreaming of you we do have prosperity yeah definitely feeling very prosperous like a dream energy okay like this person's describing was very prosperous um this person's feeling very prosperous um to be within your vicinity where that's a thing or for the opportunity to um further to connect with you wherever that applies i'm like struggling because i let way too much light in but it's over it's fine we can see where we hold it up all right yeah i split the deck and i had the nine of pentacles and look she's actually in yellow so yellow is a huge huge thing okay it's a very relevant thing um whether or not it's a part of the topic okay um but nine of pentacles is very independent energy so this person could be describing you like that um i heard the words the, the independent partner i always dreamed of um where that's a thing right um that could also just be very self-assured self-confident very strong all right yeah we got that emperor look at you um this person is describing you as the emperor okay and like don't let it be a gender thing because i do have a largely feminine audience um this person um i actually heard them say, heard that they feel very powerful um they love that you're powerful could be either polarity but it honestly can be both okay can be both when we talk about the past um references let me see the emperor is like very label like I've not read that in a love reading like that, but it feels like labels, like, again, making, like, being sure, being certain, and making things official, whatever that means for whatever stage of the connection, and this is your confirmation. Um, Daughter of Cups is a proposal, whether for love or, like, literal marriage, like, it's an offer, right? So, we've got that, and then we've got um, very quickly, so we've got someone saying very quickly they're going to make an offer whatever stage of the connection that's the conversation that's the topic that's literally the only topic this is my dream person i'm feeling very prosperous or when i'm feeling very prosperous i'm going for it boom that's the gist of it i like it it's to the point it makes my reading shorter because we're on a tarnish time we got that five of cups so especially where this person's not feeling um i heard the word competent okay um where this person's not feeling prosperous where this person's feeling lack loss this is a person that's saying um right this is my dream partner that i would pursue if i were prosperous that could be a little bit of a thing um because it came through it could also be um dreams prosperity right reaching dreams reaching prosperity and going for it right not missing out because five of cups is spilled milk missing out energy right um even where we talk about that if it's been a historical thing it talks about not missing it another opportunity hence that eight of wands because two cups still sit behind you right like this opportunity so yes like i missed my first second third chance but i'm not gonna miss that second one i mean that that fourth one look at me second something about the number two right um but that's that's kind of the energy of the conversations right 
So let me see. Something about Aries season or Aries placements as the emperor does in fact rule that sign. And I just, um, when I split the deck, that was right there, okay? So tell me more about what the crush is telling your friends about my pile number three. I'm not doing it. Hey, they're saying prosperity lies ahead. Like they're saying like you got prosperity two times. They're saying something about being prosperous. Faith is there. Um, they're saying a thing, something about being prosperous, right? Whether that's describing you as prosperous or um, themselves as prosperous and knowing that um, like kind of keeping an eye on a prize. Like feeling like they're going to have their chance where it's pure crush. Look at me. Hmm, why did I do that? Um, look at me. Hmm, look at me. Especially when we talk about missed chances, right? Because there's a dead element here with that five of cups. Hmm. Whatever is coming in. Because I, I noticed I didn't pick that as one of the questions. This feels like a crush that's coming in, a partner that's coming in, racing in, um, to do something with something, okay? So, like, this isn't an energy of, oh, like, they're just talking to the friend, like, this is a plan, or this is just a note, a notice. Like, hey, I'm just letting you know, <laughs> okay? Like, that's what I'm getting with this group. I like it. It's very um, certain, very sure. So, that's what we've got here. I got the thing again where cards are hiding. So we've got adjustments are required. Nothing will come of the situation. Um, I heard um, I'm getting it together. They're not going anywhere. So like when we talk about like partners, right? Um, I heard like, I'm going to adjust so I don't miss my chance. Um, where we're talking about attachments, like I'm going to adjust so this person doesn't leave me. Like that that's a conversation. Um... Or you're gonna like it could be you needing to adjust so that that doesn't happen on your end as well, right? Because um, adjustments are required. Nothing will come of the situation. It feels like a thing, okay? Whatever that means for you, we do have a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon and Libra. Look at you. Happens during that airy season that I referenced. So I like it. I like it. Talks about fairness. Talks about balance. We're just it's fine. Fairness and balance and kind of compromising where necessary so that's a topic where it's a thing or where it would need to be a thing okay so that's those are topics for sure it doesn't have to be a shadow it could simply be oh i'm ready to share my time my energy um like my her activity like you know what i mean like i'm sh i'm ready to share and like compromise and prioritize another person right Hey you so tell me more about my pile three what is the crush telling your friends about my pile number three what are people saying where it applies aries is back aries is back okay that's initiating cardinal energy it's 100 percent. i'm going for it like some of you that's just the topic is i'm going for it straight up i'm going for it i'm going for it okay um, we've got opposition, imbalance, a point of tension, and power struggle. Opposition talks about um, resistance. It talks about going against something, right? It talks about going for something. So obviously the shadow side of this is talking about opposition within the, the union. It's, it's all about like conflict and chaos because Aries is the god of war, right? Fighting and things like that where it's chaos, okay? And Five of Cups could be a lost cause. So that would be your shadow here. Now, everything here talks about um, adjusting where there is opposition in a lot of sense. I talked about compromising and adapting. It feels like this person's having conversations about compromising and adapting where there is opposition, where there is a potential for loss and things like that, okay? Balance and harmony with a win-win outcome is forecast. It's kind of like, I want to look out for me as well as Pal 3. So it feels like a person is really considerate of you. Ooh, I like it. <clears throat> And I'm talking too much. Some of you, this person doesn't want you to know that they're considerate of you. Where it's a thing, right? Because some of you, this person may be like a very self-identified, right? Possibly selfish in a shadow sense. But like here, it feels like someone that's really considerate and considering. Obviously, the shadow side is someone not wanting to do that. 
right on either side aries is back aries up like this is like what is that aries in opposition fighting right war i me myself right my identity um the lightest side this person's describing you as very very strong very prominent in your identity very certain in who you are very certain in what you want right very motivated very driven right that's what i see so let me let me keep pulling what is this guy having to say well um if, if for those of you that are asking if the crush is interested, because some of you is like a crush crush where you don't even know if this person likes you. You're like, we have unrequited in reverse. So absolutely, this person is interested in you because, yeah, nah, nah. Oh, hey, look at you. So let me just show you. Let me just show you. So I've got this in reverse, right? It fell that way. So I'm like, well, let me be nosy to see if I holding it upside down. You've got let the friends help you. So this person may be asking for help, right? Ask for and accept support from others. I like that that revealed itself in the in the um, friends reading, right? But this person is very interested. Some of this person's not sure if you're interested, so they're being nosy and they're asking your friends and mutual friends if you would be interested, okay? And they're like asking for help to express an interest, even where they think you like them, like they don't know what to do, okay? So let me get my card here. I'll grab the other decks and see what's going on. We'll close it out at the end with some advice, okay? My pile number three. What's my pile three's crush? Telling their friends about my pile number three. What are people saying? Where that is applicable here. You got a new chapter. A fresh start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. I got the itchy nose. So look at you. Look at you. Um, we're not going to fight that. We're going to take this one. We do have a breakup. So it could be conversation about an ex. Could be a conversation about a breakup. Um, oh, so much wants to be saying, hey, look at you. It came out multiple times. Oh, no, that's not it. Look at me. Um, it's It's here. Let your friends help you, family and friends. It says the support of family and friends may help strengthen this connection. So this is a person that's really talking to family and friends or it's like really looking to rely on family and friends for support, right? Especially if we're talking about someone you broke up with, right? And they're certain and sure there. Um, we have law of attraction and exploring. Like if you're asking about somebody that like um, is with somebody else. Um, because we got love attraction explore, we've got final shot. Someone may feel like they're having a final shot. I don't want all these cards. Let me put this down. Some of you they're talking to family and friends about your breakup or a breakup, right? Let me see. Yeah, because we got a new chapter and a final shot. If some of you are asking me specifically about X, y'all know I don't. I don't have time for that because I want these to be shorter. But you, ha if you're asking about someone you were attached to at one point, they're talking to family and friends that obviously they know um, about a potential final shot in a new chapter following a breakup, okay? And like, would you be resistant to that? Would you be combative? Would you be aggressive, okay? That's the thing, okay? Where that's who you're asking about specifically. Some of you, it is a little bit, I don't want to say scandalous because... It feels like a single pile. There were so many single indicators. Like Aries is a single I, me energy. Um, some of you, there's conversations about an ex, like concerns about an ex as they step into a new chapter with you. Doesn't have to be scandalous with any overlap. It just feels like a thing, okay? Some of you, you're the person. This person's like, I want to, this is my final chance to get like with this person that I've been wanting to get with, right? And, you know, if they had been in a connection with someone else, they're like, let me go forward with this person. Let me give it a go. Because if I'm going to do a new chapter, I might as well do a completely new chapter. I'm going to go for the person that I want. Not that I'm single. I hate saying it like that, but that's a conversation. I'm going to go for the person I want. Not that I'm single. And if they say no, then either way, fresh start. Okay? Because I don't know who you're asking me about. Um, what is this music switching to? What is this? It looks like a chakra. Nope, it's just raising positive energy. Something about raising positive energy is a topic. 
Love it. Good for you. All right, well, let me see. Tell me more about what the crush is telling their friends about Kyle 2. There's a lot of passion, which makes sense because red is passion, right? Um, it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This person feels a lot of passion for you. They're, they're talking about that. Um, here we go. Here we go. Keep an open mind. It's safe for you to love. They're hoping this with you um, or they're doing this, right? Because it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, right? Um, some of you, they're like saying you're different and they like that right some of you they're saying they're different they hope you're open right we're talking about peer crush like they're not sure if they're your type seems to be a question okay there is an ending on the table and then there is a relationship on the table i don't know what that is so something about an ending, honestly, there's a conversation of a breakup and a relationship. So if you're the type to break up and make up, that's probably why. Um, some of you, even if this is a person that's completely single, topics of a breakup seems to be a thing. I don't know why. So like, I'm just making sure you know. Okay. So let me see my last card and I will get your advice. Hey, secret admirer. Lucky in love. Yeah, so honestly, this feels like a person that's been liking you for some time, whether you realize it or not. Because I don't I don't know who you're asking about. Some of you, this is a person that's liked you a lot longer than you realize. Yeah, you got that red rose. Go to red rose, because you did pick the cupcake that looks kind of like a red rose. Um, you may be also the tulip. Now, rolling the dice, feeling lucky in love and getting romance this person may feel like they lucked up when they got you um because it feels like someone that um like that they've been wanting right even before you realize they were interested in you right you got a secret admirer like this person was watching you and things like that um or asking about you in secret without you realizing we have got that the shadow side of that is um oh i don't like it i'll mention in passing just because whatever it feels like um, like dreams could be illusion in a shadow sense. Nothing will come with this is like over, right? For the best with this balancing, like already interested in somebody else, like already looking to break up and move on, right? Specifically with someone that they're, <clears throat> yeah, I'm talking way too much. They're really interested in. That's what I've got here, okay? So just watch it, just watch it, okay? Go to, to a pile, go to the Red Rose pile. Um, but this is someone feeling like really lucky about like a final shot with someone, um, proposal with a proposition, whether we're talking about like a literal proposal or just right an offer like we talked about earlier. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Let me get out of this energy. <laughs> um, just because I'm already reaching the point where I wanted this to end. Um, and I think some of you will appreciate these being shorter just cause like, I know y'all don't always have time to watch the in-depth ones. I don't know that I'll stop doing those completely, but I do like that this will give me more time and energy to get you guys more readings, right? I don't really I don't think that the quality of the readings will necessarily suffer for it. Okay. So let me see. Give me my advice for my red cupcake. Well, better yet, what should my pile number three? what is their advice regarding this red cupcake there we go I'll take the bottom hey I said here we go so listen I heard that this is something you've already done okay whatever this is your advice that you're, you may realize you need to do like you may realize this already this is something you may be aware of even if um, it feels like a surprise like maybe deep down you already know for better for worse, because I don't mean it in the shadow sense. This is advice that you don't even realize will benefit you. So I don't know what that is, but we'll see, because you don't even realize it will benefit you. You probably had no idea, have no idea that this is something you should do. So cast away negativity. Yeah, you, yeah, you know that. You know that. You definitely know that. <laughs> and you should have already done that. Um, if you're working on a great job, great job. I like to affirm you guys. 
Um, but cast away negativity, cast away negativity like that, whether that's mentalities, perspectives, past ties, this person, you know, if you're that shadow that stepped in, right? So let me see. And again, you don't realize concealment. Okay, well, that's interesting. So some of you, I hate to say it, but like you may need to like make like your like we got secret admirer, right? So some of you um in the shadow make your social media private, right? If it because like you may have like right? Because you're asking about one person. But there may be someone else because like, you're being told to conceal. Now you're also being told to let your mask down. So cast away negativity and you know, take the mask off where we're talking about that really positive side of this pile, right? Because some of you don't maybe guard it and don't realize, okay? Some of you may be too open and don't realize. You got it? And it could be both in different situations, right? Because I'm, I'm, I keep getting breakup and new chapters. So I do get a strong energy of possibly two people on the table. It doesn't have to be actively so. It could just be energetically, right? That's what I've got. So let me see to the bottom. Is that like, oh, I'm just holding it in reverse. Um, some of you do need to play dumb in some situation. Don't share wisdom. Okay, some of you need to be to keep your relationship private with this person. Like the really happy, positive side. It's, it, you're being told to keep it private. Got it. Um, to avoid negativity. That's what it is, okay? Um, but let your guard down and cast away negativity where it's really positive, okay? Because that's the thing, all right? So that is all I have for you today. My pile number three, hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile number four. Let's see what your crush is telling your friends about you and what people say. I got distracted. I had something else going on. I needed to adjust. So there could be needing adjustments. I was immediately channeling energy. A dominant shadow tried to step through before I even could finish cleansing the like the cards and energy of like needing to let go and all the things like that. We will not be prioritizing that even after I say my disclaimer. Um, but there's also an energy of like new beginnings. Um, there's an energy of um, what was the other energy? I don't know. Like it slipped through my grasp because everything just like hit me. Like like things are just moving really quickly and like it's having a um. It's difficult to grasp when, when the energy is moving that quick. So this person could be very fast. You could be very fast. Honestly, the connection may be moving very quickly. Okay. And that could be a topic. So let me see what's going on. Like someone could be overwhelmed in the best or worst way. Right. Um, for those of you that are new here, I read past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do channel a light and a shadow, which we call a polarity. You just have to find yourself in the lesson in the journey. Yes, you can have more than one file. Yes, you can pick multiple timelines, multiple people, however you choose. I think me saying that made some of you start asking about your exes for fun. And that's why we got the shadow. I realized it took me each pile to be like, what's that energy? Some of you are like, well, since I can ask, let me see. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do it where it like makes sense to do that. <clears throat> Don't be asking about like your random ex that like did you dirty or that you did dirty. Please stop. Um, let me see. About number four. What is the crush telling the friends? Appreciation. Sunflower. Hey, we've got that flower coming. I made the thumbnail today. So something about today, whatever that is for you real time is important. I don't know how or why, but something about today because I made that thumbnail today. And I'm excited about it because it came out nice. Like, I, you know, I, I didn't expect it. I led with knowing I needed to put this sunflower because it keeps jumping out for all of you. And the only one live right now is chaotic. So if you know you're in a heavy shadow, whether with a person or just in life, maybe go to that reading. I, I always leave with I don't remember it because it was truly like a year ago. I just remember that it was chaotic enough to stick with me like, ooh, you know? Um, but anyway, this person is like kind of expressing their appreciation for you. Um, 
they're trying to do something. Ooh, they're trying to do something to show you their appreciation. That's something they're talking about the friends. That's not what I was going to say. Um, they're talking about ways to make you appreciate them. Like what could they do? Right. So same thing, right? It's just a different way of wording it. But yeah, that sunflower pile will exist maybe in the next week or two um, because we did just get a secret admirer reading. But for now, look at you. Maybe go back to the sunflower, but definitely go to the dahlia because we have dahlias, plural, on the channel. So secret admirer is a thing. You may be coming from the previous pile. You may be coming from the previous pile because I think that secret admirer card came out. So you got appreciation, you got dignity. Okay, and I, that card actually may have come out in the last one as well. So look at you, look at you. Something about a pause, a break to figure out what to do, how to go about something. All right. How? All right. Well, we got a lot of feelings here, a lot of emotions, a lot of um, like passion. I heard the word pleasure, like joy, just feeling really good. Like this is a person that's like, I'm feeling really good about the situation. I'm feeling really good about pile four or how do I make sure that pile four feels good about me, right? Like this feels like expressing your appreciation in a really dignified way. Like I'm doing something impactful that, that means something, if that makes sense. I don't know what that's talking about, but that's what I've got here. Okay, like making sure Pal Four knows I appreciate them. That's what I heard regarding this person. Um, what's the crush telling the friends about my pile number four, please? Could be like a gathering, like a little bit of a celebration. Could truly just be a date because Three of Cups talks about just enjoyment. Um, like um, doing something that just feels good possibly doing something that's like going out, being social, looking good, feeling good, eating good, things like that, okay? All right, we'll take the bottom. Yeah, it feels like um, date. <laughs> it feels like date, gathering, party, energy, okay? Or all of the three, okay? The bottom I've got, yeah, fast-paced messages right daughter of wands is really excited really passionate messages okay conversations right feeling good um some of you with the shoulder there you go you're in your right place right space um i said it in the other pile there was a comment where um i didn't get to reply to it yet because i saw it um in passing because i've been on a go and i want to like do these more um but yeah, I, it could completely mean a chip on the shoulder. Those of you that are not like injured, that's still an in energetic kind of injury, right? Like, cause now you're walking around with like a chip on your shoulder. You don't want that. So we talk about the energy clearing, right? That's the thing. But I'm glad that um, that person brought that up because I had not thought of that. I had not channeled that. So I love how we're all supporting each other in the comments and cre like sharing all of the creative ideas. You guys keep doing that. Keep doing that. All right. Um, I had a new romantic cycle um, at the bottom and then I split and it was luck is on your side. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So tell me more about what the crush is telling the friends. What are people saying where it makes, where it's relevant? Nothing is yet set in stone. It's a topic, okay? Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. So it could be early. I reference feeling... Um, Things moving moving quickly and possibly feeling under pressure in a little bit of a sat in a, I was gonna say a sadness sense, but in a shadow sense, right? Like um, this person could be talking about you two kind of being tested, right? Um, they could be saying they don't know where you two stand, hence the need to show appreciation. Okay. Or you don't know where you stand with them. Like, you you know, you're not feeling very stable, very confident in the connection. And they want to prove that to you. Could be a thing. It does not have to be a shadow. It feels very sweet. Like, hey, let me just, it's been a while. Let me make sure Pal 4 feels really good about us. Um, it could also be just um, like, like wanting to like go on a date, right? Or even if it's like pure crush, it could be like, oh, I haven't seen him in a while. Like, what's that? You know, like, I need to lock down the Pal 4 because like, Pile four is all single with nothing else yet set in stone. Like, that's what I'm feeling through this energy. 
because it feels like dating it feels like social living. so when we talk about peer crushes it's very very casual very liberated and open right so tell me more about my blue cupcake with the flowers let me see what's this person saying about my pile number four Some of you, um, this person's telling the friends you've been very dignified through something um, and that they really appreciate that and that you've been very patient as things have been tested, as things have been unstable, right? They really want to like express appreciation for you being very patient, right? Very supportive while things have been testy, right? Troubled waters, right? Um, we got satisfy emotional needs, nurture self and others. Yeah, right? Being very active in expressing their emotions. They're, they're like trying to figure out how to express their emotions. Um, they want their actions to match their emotions, if that makes sense. So if this is a person that has not been expressing um, their emotions to you in a good way, then they're feeling like um, they want to figure out how to do that or do that more, okay? Fit you. It feels really good because where there's been troubled waters right or like waves right or just issues whether your life their life and that's impacted getting to know each other this person's like trying to figure out how to actively express their interests whether we're talking about a pure crush or like a partner that's like no we haven't been on a date in a while let me make sure that like pal four feels very loved very valued very appreciated right like i don't want to be worried where I stand with my partner, right? Like I want to be stable and certain in my connection. Can't do that if this person doesn't feel appreciated. Like that's what I'm getting. Okay, so those are the conversations. We have exciting news and butterflies. So I do feel like this is a pile that's getting good news regarding the crush, right? Whether we're talking about like an actual attachment or like a crush that is um, more active, okay? Because that's the conversation. That's the um, conversation. It feels like a lot of energy surrounding fun and youthful energy, okay? So give me what the crush is telling the friends. Building a future. Deeper intimacy. Ready for love. Try to come out. So let me get my one. What is the crush telling their friends about my pile number four? Okay, maturing energy. They want to be deeper, right? Maturity, right? truly in a literal sense maturing energy and deeper intimacy right so the feelings of emotional closeness and love allow you to feel safe desired and more connected to your partner that's what they're talking about ways to make that a thing in the connection or ways to like develop that where it's early right look at you so what what's going on um, they're talking about their fears, possibly of intimacy, of their feelings, of rejection. Where we're talking about pure crush. It does say as you face your inner fears, you recognize what is holding you back from attracting a healthy and loving relationship with others and yourself. Kind of facing themselves, working through themselves. We have annoyance. You or your partner may be annoyed right now. Give each other space to cool off to avoid more arguments. Yeah, they're saying that they're on your nerves <laughs> or that you're on theirs, right? Um, that's normal, right? That's normal where we're talking about attachments. Um, um, even early stages, even crush, like if you're struggling to like get to know each other, um, like finding time for each other, that could be a bit annoying, right? To get like trying to find a deeper intimacy and not being able to, right? Some of you, they're afraid that you're annoyed with them regarding intimacy, whether it's a lack of or, um, I don't know, something about intimacy. We're not developing that. Okay, um, but they do feel like you're upset with them. Some of you, they feel like you're upset. Okay, that's why they want to be all like dignified and show appreciation. Okay, like expressing the love and the ace of cups trying to figure out how to be romantic and things like that where they're not. Okay, all right, we do have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Some of you, when we talk about pure crush, this person, oh yeah, because. This, this person's worried that if they engage you romantically, 
you'll be combative and find them annoying, okay? Like some of you, this person's like, nope, they, the power forward would need an open mind. I don't think they, I don't think they like me like that. Um, like they, they, they feel like you're the soulmate, but they're like, I don't think power forward likes me like that. And I'm worried that I'll really annoy them if I try to get close to them on an intimate level. Look at you. Why is this person like that? What's going on with y'all? Um, it makes sense where there are attachments. And I could see the interferes where we're talking about pure crush as well. But something about annoyance, whether that's them truly believing you're annoyed, um, feeling annoyed, feeling frustration, because frustration and intimacy could be a sensual thing that we're not developing. That could be the top topic where there's difficulty, like, oh, it's difficult and it's been a while because of it, right? That could be a topic. Y'all brought me all kinds of things. Let go of control issues. So let me see. What's the crush telling their friends? about my pile number four and what do people say where it's relevant we've got an expression of love go ahead and make the romantic gesture yeah some of them say like just go for it whether we're talking about intimacy whether we're talking about like a date whether we're talking about like just having a conversation that needs to be had like the friends are saying like do it um the person you're asking about is figuring out how to do it at the bottom, we do have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We do have a strong intimacy on the table of an annoyance regarding that. So this could be my connections where like you're not seeing eye to eye or seeing each other due to whatever, like waves, right? Because that could be friction between the two of you actively, or it could just be situational, right? Like distance, things like that. Some of you, this person's like, their friends are saying, hey, just tell the pile number um, four that you missed them. You got hopeful and sweet like honey. Some of you, this person genuinely hoping that you'll be nice to them. I don't know the backstory. I don't want the backstory where it's a heavy shadow, but um, where it's talking to your crush, like they don't necessarily think you're interested, okay? And for my, my people where there's distance, that's a thing. I even have flighty to confirm, okay? So let me get another good shuffle. And we'll get your last card and I'll get your advice to close it out. Pile number four, what's the crush telling their friends about my pile number four, please? We do got proposal that showed itself just now, so that's going for it, right? In whatever sense of the word it's applicable. Sparks fly and retreat. Feels like frustration, like we talked about um in a sensual way on a lighter sense in a fighting and taking space in the shadow okay Ooh. okay we got love song which feels like romance and trying to like butter somebody up tell me more okay dream lover tie the knot is where we are um So where we're talking about the really light side of the pile, this person's like, oh, and there was another pile, I don't remember which one, where this came out, but this person's like, yep, pile four is my dream person. Like I could go all the way with pile four. Um, I'm locking it down, plan to lock it down. Um, shadow side is too many waves, too much friction, right? Too much incompatibility and wanting to find the dream lover to tie the knot with, right? That's what I've got, okay? Um, let me get this advice because so much going on. I mean, it's definitely a topic where there's like fighting. I hate to say it later because defense just showed itself. Um, and we do have finding love. Some of you, um, the advice is very clearly to react to how this person is engaging you, right? So if they're not, leave them alone. Um, if they are aggressively so, you can defend yourself, but to set a boundary, right? Because with finding love here, the goal is to find love, find peace. Um, whether with this person or other, like you have power, okay? So let me, let me get it. You, you get the advice of um, safe travel. Um, so where there's distance, that's a thing as well. That's advice. So let me see. There we go. Healing energy. So we have an energy of needing to heal. 
um, which feels like um, where there's conflict doesn't conflict doesn't always mean mean like oh it's over right <laughs> it's not that serious all the time seeing healing through that and then um, we've got karmic justice I don't know why that's here so karmic justice does talk about a balancing of the skills. Um, it could be closing a karmic cycle where we have a heavy shadow here where you're asking about a historical tie or something that is closing or needs to close. We, we talk about healing and closing a karmic cycle. Um, I'm trying to figure out what that means for everybody else. Some of you like, I don't like to use the word karmic justice in a sense because it does seem excessive, but it's not like an action in a negative sense. It's saying seek karmic justice in terms of balancing your inner karma by healing and engaging this person where it's good or by leaving this person alone. Like karmic justice heals, okay? That's, that's kind of what the advice is saying, right? Like karmic justice is kind of do what is right. Okay, so like where it's confusing, karmic justice as advice is do what is right. Okay, whatever is right in the situation, whatever you feel is like truly right, right in the situation. Okay, especially when we talk about things that will lead to healing. Okay, okay, so that is all I have for you today. My pile number four, hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you can stay in the know on the content we post there on this channel. Thank you for watching.